Today I want you to practice building fluency. You're going to practice the passage, the pet rock, and you're going to make sure you're reading accurately so all the words are correct. You're reading with expression, your voice is changing and you're pausing at punctuation, and you need to make sure you're reading at a good rate. I don't want you stopping in the middle of a sentence. Your goal is to finish the entire sentence and you only pause at punctuation or at the end of a sentence. I'm going to model what it should sound like for you. And your job is to try and make sure that you reading this sounds like I'm reading it. The pet rock. Emma still has the pet rock she received for her birthday five years ago. It is still one of her favorite possessions. It is gray with fuzzy orange feet and a lavender tail. Its eyes are outlined in blue and white crayon, and its mouth is drawn in red crayon. Rob brought the pet rock to Emma's birthday party when she turned six. It was wrapped in a huge yellow box with an enormous bright red bow. When Emma opened the box, she found another box inside wrapped in sparkly green paper. Inside that box was another box wrapped in pink tissue paper. Finally, inside that box was her pet rock. It was the best gift Emma got that year and the only one she still has from her sixth birthday. It was special and different because Rob had made it himself. Emma keeps it on a shelf in her room next to the trophy she won at last year's swim competition. When Emma looks at the rock, she remembers Rob, her party that year, and what friendship really means. It is still one of her best memories. So remember, your job is to read this passage like I read it, with expression, at a good rate, and with accuracy.